after breaking inputs as far as the issue of Jalikattu here is concerned with sources telling NewsX that the state government uh, is in the process of making all preparations for organizing the Jalikattu. So we are looking at a scenario here where the state government is going ahead with the celebrations. This is along the same lines of the nature of assurance there that had come in from Chief Minister Opani Rasalvam there saying that the government will go ahead with the celebrations of Jalikattu. Preparations there that are on to organize the sport of Jalikattu. It's important here to note Jalikattu is a sport that has faced a ban by the Supreme Court uh, since 2014. Uh, ever since that verdict that came in by the Supreme Court stating that it is an issue of cru uh, cr cruelty against animals, which is why it was banned. Our correspondent Lokpriya getting us further inputs here. Uh, what more can you get us on the nature of preparations? A clear sign here in three days' time, this would be going on, uh, marking as a major celebration on Pongal uh, despite the Supreme Court ban. Well, that's correct. Uh, there is a ban uh, on Jalikattu, but uh, the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister uh, Paneer Selvam has said that uh, Jalikattu reflects the uh, tradition of uh, Tamil Nadu, and uh, the uh, he has even written to the Prime Minister Narendra Modi asking him to promulgate an ordinance for the conduct of the event. Uh, highly placed sources in the Tamil Nadu government say that they are looking into various uh, legal options uh, to conduct the festival because remember the state is also a party to it. So they are uh, having high-level meetings and they are uh, trying to see if there is any way out for them to conduct uh, Jalikattu. They are looking into uh, the legal matter as well. Uh, Paneer Selvam strongly asserting the state's position and he, uh, he uh, wants to uh, score uh, political brownie points because uh, this is the first test of Panish Selvam's government. The opposition has been blaming the AIDMK government for the way it handled uh, the entire issue. Right, but Lokpriya, is this just political pressure that the AIDMK is facing from other political parties, its arch rival, that being the DMK as well, uh, other political parties in slamming the way they've dealt with this issue? But at the end of the day, this would effectively mean contempt of court as well, going against that ban. Well, definitely, yes, and that is the reason why they are consulting with uh, the legal team. They are speaking to uh, various legal experts to see that uh, if there is any way out, uh, if there are any powers under the state government to uh, enable uh, this particular uh, sport because if they are going to go ahead and conduct it, definitely it will uh, invite the court trap, it will be uh, contempt of court. So they are looking at the various legal options available before them and definitely, yes, the political pressure is building on uh, because uh, for two years straight, Jalikatu was banned in uh, Tamil Nadu and if it is going to be banned once again, then definitely uh, it is uh, going to be very difficult for the politicians uh, to face the constituency in the southern part of Tamil Nadu where Jalikattu is very famous. Look, Priya, it is a, a three days' time that we're looking at with Pongal celebration starting later this weekend. An assurance there that uh, has come in there from the Chief Minister as well that Jalikattu celebrations there would continue. And now we're looking at preparations on ground as well. It would effectively mean contempt of court because there's a Supreme Court ban against the celebration of Jalikattu on grounds of cruelty against animals. We'll leave it at that. Thanks for those details and more political reactions here that have come in on this issue. if you take judiciary is the only uh, thing in the democracy that is not a solution that is why we are requesting uh, on behalf of our ADMK our general secretary Chinnamma to see that uh, this delicate can be conducted this, uh, this year itself. Within a week, uh, this festival is going to take place. We are requesting you, and also we are submitting the memorandum to Honorable Prime Minister also, 
the copy we are giving to the Honorable Minister Ravaji. Please consider it, do some justice uh, to see that our youth will be happy and uh, they have some kind of uh, uh, I mean, the festival, they have to conduct this in Delhi country. That is very important, we are requesting, sir. I am very sure that uh, <coughs> Honorable Supreme Court will do justice, they will give us the decision and uh, we will be able to celebrate our festivals with full pleasure and uh, as per the tradition. But first, we will have to wait till the Supreme Court gives its own judgment. In Tamil Nadu, every year during Pongal, Jallikat, uh, that game is being held all over the state. Recently, Supreme Court has given a judgment banning it. But on behalf of the people of Tamil Nadu, on behalf of the Communist Party Marxists, we press the government of India to take steps to hold the jelly cut during Pongal. Now the central minister says they are going to, uh, he is going to meet the prime minister and appraise the situation and see that the jelly cut is allowed. It's a play, you have to take it in the play. That is why yesterday, even the, the, the popular cinema actor uh, Kamala Hassan, hero, has mentioned that, you know, once you ban Jallikattu, you can ban Briyani also. Why do you take Briyani? So therefore, it's an emotional issue. The supporting for Jallikattu is important. Central government is also supporting. But the politics played by Congress in 2011 and 2010 by Jairam Ramesh and Jayanti Natarajan, they twisted it. I think Jalikatu is becoming a very emotional issue. Every time it's the Pongal season, Tamil Nadu becomes, uh, um, comes to life uh, on this particular issue. Jalikatu has been uh, there for ages together, uh, which is uh, something which is traditional and customary. But uh, we should also think about the uh, preventive measures and uh, measures about uh, ensuring that both the bullocks as well as people who indulge in this game and who are spectators are safe. Without thinking of any safety measures, I think knee-jerk reactions are the ones which we see today. The fate of uh, Jallikattu hangs in balance only because of the uh, lackadaisical attitude of the state of uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, the, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, what to say, the stepmotherly treatment given by uh, the central government uh, to the state of, uh, vetted out to the state of uh, Tamil Nadu. This is a simple issue which could have been sorted out by the central government by issuance of an ordinance. They are not understanding that Jallikattu is so intrinsically linked with the Tamil pride and Tamil culture. Uh, it is a culture heritage which has been in the state of Tamil Nadu for the last 500 years at least.